What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. This is Twinning Collectibles. I am the other twin, and we got some 2021 SPA, the long-awaited arrival of one of the best products in hockey, really. Um, this product is awesome, except for the price point. So we'll probably we'll really only be opening one box. We'll probably hold on to our other box um, just because I saw the quality of these boxes is really bad. So I've been watching a bunch of people open these and it's been really disappointing. Um, I mean, the future watches look great, but a lot of boxes don't have any autos in them at all. Just a couple of inserts. And so the quality control has been very poor from upper deck. But I mean, so that's why I think we're gonna only open one box. So let's get into it. We're looking for those future watches. All right, here we go. We got five cards per pack, 18 packs per box. We got the sign of the times autos. They got doubles, triples. There's so much nice stuff in this product. We're hoping to hit something good. Let's see here. We got, they got the acetate young guns, limited auto materials, the sign of the times. Let's get going. Let's see what we get. All right. So really like the design of the base. Pretty nice. And we got one of the leaders, true leaders, Anze Kopitar. Ryan gets left. Nathan McKinnon, Stanley Cup champion. And we got one of these celebrated moments, Pecorine. All right, David Perron, Alex Tuck. And we got Anze Kopitar. It's one of these little retro ones. Those are cool looking cards though. Uh, another decoy, really wish we did a patch in here. Those, those, the patches are look, looking really good. Gibson, and we got another celebrated moments. Yeah, Stamkos, all right. Olafson, John Carlson, and we got one of the Reds, Steven Samkos, limited red. Very nice. Bo Horvat, Pedersen, and we got one of, the, one of these retros of Roman Yossi. All right, there goes the right stack. We'll move on to the left stack. Uh, another decoy, dang. And true leaders, Brent Burns. All right, Kyle Connor, Nick Suzuki. And another celebrated moments, John Klingberg. So not too much so far. It's making me a little nervous. Here we go. Uh, Shvetnikov, Pavelski, Crosby. Nice. And we got another one of those uh, retros of Brady Kachuk. Another decoy in here. And it looks like another one of those celebrated moments. Uh, Pavelski. Come on, give me something in here. Strom, Hedman, Zuccarello, Roman Yossi, and a limited red, Kucherov. They're nice cards. They're very clean looking cards. All right, Nugent Hopkins, Pacioretty, Anders Lee, Pasternak. And maybe a sign of the times here. Nope, one of those, another one of those retros, Pierre Luc Dubois. All right, I'm down to my last one, two, three, four, five, six packs. Uh, we haven't even hit a Spectrum FX yet. Uh, we've not hit any autos. Uh, we've only hit the really low end inserts. So pretty nervous here. All right, let's go. Nope, another decoy. Jones. Darlene, decoy, oh, there's a Spectrum FX of Evgeny Malkin. There's the code you scratch off, uh, the part of the bounty. Evgeny Malkin, a big question mark with his contract right now in the Penguins. Uh, looks like we got another one of those Spectrum FXs. Maybe it's a Future Watch. Yep, Future Watch, level two. It is a Ranger. Vitaly Kravtsov, Spectrum FX Future Watch. All right, I'm getting getting a little nervous here. I haven't had any autos yet. I haven't had any Future Watch autos yet. This is a oh, there it is, Future Watch, uh, non-auto. Looks like it's a uh, the Blues guy. Yep, Joel Hoffer. And another big old decoy in there. Um. True leaders, Bergeron, which I hear he's coming back for one more year with the Bruins. Two more packs, people. This has been a very disappointing product to open uh, so far. But, I mean, we got a Future Watch Spectrum, a Future Watch non-auto, but no autograph so far. We're supposed to be hitting at least two. So, unless these both have an auto in them, 
Uh, I suggest this is going to be a bad. I think this is going to be a bad box. Braden Shen. Nope. Limited red. Aho. So we got one pack left. This has been super depressing. If this isn't a future watch auto, then we have to go through the trouble of contacting Upper Deck and see what they give us. This has been terrible. Oh, all right, it's a future watch. High skin in. It's not even an auto. Uh, Mikhail Matsov out of 999. So, I mean, thank goodness I got this stack of base cards and a bunch of inserts zero autos this is so dumb like i mean now i have to contact upper deck and see what they give me but this has been terrible like i don't even care i don't even care if that just happened like what is upper deck doing like this is all i got just a bunch of inserts that are worth pennies and two few two non future watch autos that are also not really worth anything. I mean, what what was the best card of the break? The Malkin <laughs> Spectrum FX and the Kraftstov, like maybe I guess. But like, come on, Dumper Deck, this is just ridiculous. Why are people spending four or five hundred dollars for this product? This is insane. I'm gonna contact them. See what we get back from them. Let us know in the comments what you got in your boxes, but we have another box. I doubt we're going to open it just because it'll probably be worth more unopened. It'll, we're probably going to open it and get zero box, zero autos again. So, But this has been super disappointing. We wait this long for a product like this. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. little rant there, but I think it was well-deserved rant for Upper Deck. Like, step up your game, Upper Deck. What are you doing? Don't release a product if you're going to release something like this. I'd rather have waited another couple months and let, instead of getting these. Don't buy this product. Save your money. Thanks for watching, everyone. Comment down below <laughs> what you guys hit. Uh, it's very frustrating. It's very frustrating to wait that long for such a fun product and to get nothing in it. Check out our top 10 hockey pools of the month series. Those are really fun to do. If you, if you actually did end up hitting something in your SPA box, submit it in the link in the description. Uh, maybe you'll get into the top 10. I think they're really fun videos to make. Shout out some people in the community. Hit that sub button. Just hit 1,000 subs. We're on our way to two. And follow us on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. And go Pens!